Well, we've seen several groups protesting family separation, but tonight the leader of the Catholic Diocese of El Paso telling us rather than protesting, the diocese is doing something a little different. News Channel 9's Tatiana Favela joins us live outside St. Patrick Cathedral. Bishop Mark Seitz telling me how the church plans on making its many voices heard, not by protesting, but by prayer. The church, our, our main work isn't to protest. Uh, our main work is, is to pray and to work with those who are suffering. Praying for the children in these 10 cities and the families being separated. Bishop Mark Seitz, though, not visiting the site. Instead telling us the Catholic Diocese of El Paso knew something like this might happen. We were hearing rumors several months ago that El Paso was kind of a test case for a new policy of separating families. Those rumors not just about separation but also criminal offenses. Charging them with everything that they could be charged with uh, in order to uh, deter families from coming to the to the border. The diocesan migrant and refugee services being the primary outreach office of the diocese, playing a very big role in the work the church currently does with migrants seeking refuge. Some of our church facilities have been open for a long time to shelter these people so they're not left to sleep on the street and to provide food for them and transportation. They go into the detention centers and offer classes to people who are there explaining to them what their legal options are. Bishop Seitz telling us the current events are not in line with the church. Separating families is not an acceptable way to deter people from coming. The Diocese of El Paso and Hope Border Institute are hosting an interfaith procession July 20th, starting at Cleveland Square and marching here at St. Pat Patrick Cathedral. Now, it's important to note that procession happening nearly a week after the migrant children are expected to leave Tornillo's tent city. Reporting live in central El Paso, Tatiana Favela, News Channel 9.